Good morning, Cathedral family. What a joy to be with you today. I hope you've had a great week and i uh, just like to acknowledge the Awabakal people who have traditionally owned the land in which I come to you today. So welcome, welcome so much to being just uh, our family in, in dispersion. So thank you for joining us today. It's Saturday morning um, on page 419 of our prayer books. Today we're reading uh, Psalm 65 on page 285. And the reading is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. So let us begin. God has shone into our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. A people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 65. You are to be praised, O God, in Zion. You shall vow, to you shall vows be paid that answer prayers. To you shall all flesh come to confess their sins when our misdeeds prevail against us. You will purge them away. Blessed are those whom you choose to take to yourself to dwell within your courts. We shall be filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You will answer us in your righteousness with terrible deeds, O God our Saviour. You that are our hope of all the ends of the earth and of the distant seas. Who by your strength made fast the mountains, you that girded with power, who stilled the raging of the seas with the roaring of the waves and the tumult of the peoples. Those who dwell at the ends of the earth are afraid of your wonders. The dawn and the evening sings your praises. You tend the earth and water it. You make it rich and fertile. A river of God is full of water and so providing for the earth, you provide grain for us all. You drench its furrows, you level the ridges between, you soften it with showers and bless its early growth. You crown the year with your goodness and the tracks where you have passed drip with fatness. The pastures of the wilderness run over and the hills are girded with joy. The meadows are clouded with sheep and the valleys stand so thick with corn they shout for joy and sing. Pray to God whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation. Receive our morning prayers. We pray and renew us in your service through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 29 to 40. By faith the people passed through the Red Sea as if it were dry land. But when the Egyptians attempted to do so, they were drowned. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell after they had been in circles for seven days. By faith, Rahab, the prostitute, did not perish with those who were disobedient because she had received the spies in peace. And what more should I say? The time would fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jehath, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, obtained promises, shuts the mouths of lions, quench raging fire, escape the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to fight. Women received their dead by resurrection. Others were tortured, refusing to accept release in order to obtain a better resurrection. Others suffered mocking and flogging and even chains and imprisonment. 
They were stoned to death. They were sawn in two. They were killed by the sword. They went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, persecuted, tormented, of whom the world has, was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains and in caves and holes in the ground. Yet all these, though they were commended for their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God had provided something better so that they would not, apart from us, be made perfect. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For on him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the resurrect, the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness shall dwell, and through him all things were reconciled to himself. So Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. And so we pray that which our Lord has taught. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The prayer for this week. Lord God, our Redeemer, who heard the cry of your people and sent your servant Moses to lead them out of slavery. Free us from the tyranny of sin and death, and by the leading of your Spirit, bring us to our promised land, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father God, we pray for our bishops. We pray for Catherine, our Dean. We pray for all in the cathedral family. Those who come and clean and do flowers, the community kitchen, those who make our worship beautiful, for our musicians and choristers, for those who help with morning tea, for those who diligently care for the gardens and the surrounding areas, for those who help with our youth and our children, for the generosity of the parish through missions and our community. Uh, closet and through the myriads of ways in which we reach out into your world we ask for your continued blessing we thank you for your grace and we acknowledge your love Lord in our mercy hear our prayer we pray this day for all who are on our parish prayer list particularly those who have been in need for a very long time. We pray for all doctors and nurses, all frontline workers. We especially pray for those for whom isolation is a huge issue. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, Lord God, we pray for ourselves. Help us to be a blessing in the world. Help us to be of peace. Help us to feel your presence in our lives this very day as we go out and be your instruments of peace and love and grace. These and all our prayers we bring before you, our Lord and Saviour. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So the Lord be with you and let us all praise the Lord and give thanks to God. And may the deep, deep peace of God, which passes all understanding, 
Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of Christ and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love, those whom you find hard to love this and every day. Beautiful family, thank you so much for joining me today and I can't wait to catch up with you next time. So bless you and I look forward to um, coming and sharing our prayers together sometime soon. Take care now.